Oh. Hey, welcome to another edition of the Game Bear View. You did not see me playing with my toys. Just kidding. I had to. It's Star Wars. Yes, I have been waiting for this pretty much my entire lifespan. Yeah, even since I was a kid. My dad loved it. I love it. I still have the VHSs intact. I still love this fr uh, this franchise. It will never get old. Despite the insane amount of craziness that it brings. Because it has cartoons that tie into certain stuff. There are m cartoon movies. There are 15-minute shorts. There are ridiculous it's ridiculous like look at this like anything can combine with it anything can be tied into it it's just in it one of the one of the best franchises i will say and i'm sure you guys out there and i'm definitely my my cohorts over here definitely agree with me um but we are here right now to express on how much we love star wars and how much we loved the force awakens yes I'm going to admit it right now, right here. The Force Awakens was awesome. It was fantastic. I've seen it already five times, especially in IMAX. I've seen it twice in IMAX. Pro actually, probably three, I think. Go check it out. I'm, I'm letting you know right now, within two minutes of this fucking review, go see The Force Awakens. Now, I know there are some of you saying, oh my god, it's just a carbon copy. Well, I mean, you're right. I mean, l let's look at the facts. You have a young guy on a desert planet who's sensitive to the Force. Anakin Skywalker, Flynn, makes sense. Uh, they, uh, that character, the young man, teams up with a badass brunette who's hiding a big secret. Ray, we don't know the secret of her yet. Uh, we're hoping to find out uh, in the next one, or possibly in the next next one. Um, yes, because they're doing two more, possibly. Uh, and then you have Amadala from the original series. Again, it has an old secret. It kind of it's kind of fun. And then you have those two meeting up with older characters who whose age eludes us, which you can tell. Han Solo, and you also have uh, Carrie Fisher playing Princess Leia again. Uh, and then in this one you have. But in this one, you have pretty much the, the main three characters. Spoiler alert, even if you didn't know by now, uh, it's kind it's kind of obvious where this is going. And then you have the lurking Sith, Sith Lord, a new Sith Lord with a funny looking lightsaber. Darth Maul, Kylo Ren, double sided saber versus a a hilt saber now. You know, it, it combines, it, it looks completely different, but it's the literally the same exact plot point. And then you have both droids, uh, R2 and uh, C-3PO, who who appear in it, except C-PO looks different. You know, in the, in the prequels, it, uh, he was pretty much getting built, and then he was already built, in, uh, he was like being put together in the first three. And then he was completely put together in, and all shiny and new in the, in the original three. And then, in this, he has a red arm, which I still don't get. Makes no sense. They even mention it. It's kind of weird, but whatever. But you can t definitely see where people are coming with it and where I'm coming with it. I'm hopeful you guys see it too. But it does have the same exact plot points as the first of each French of each set of the franchise. You know, you, you, I mean, even Luke Skywalker, he meets a new, he basically meets a new Sith Lord. I mean, he doesn't know about Darth Vader until later on. You know, it's, 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 it's interesting where they go with this. It's interesting where they go with the entire film because they completely blindside, they completely put you on a track to find, to find out who Rey is. She's a scavenger. Uh, you don't really know her. She's in this, like, we, uh, you know, desert where she's she's a bum pretty much, and then it's probably gonna end up being find out like an Aladdin type franchise uh, thing where she's actually a prince or I, I I take that back. It's not really Aladdin. It's more of more of space balls. You know, where he's a bona fide prince. You know, he finds that certificate. You know, it's more like that where she's probably like this revered daughter. Of either Princess Leia and Han, or Luke Skywalker, who's like the prince of princess of the galaxy or something, you know. But again, we don't know. 
Only the people who are involved know. Only J.J. Abrams, who is directing it, probably knows by now. Um, this is why I love Star Wars, because they end up keeping things secret. Same thing with, like, Doctor Who and Sherlock. Like, really, really good shows or really, really good movies. They tend to keep everything a secret other than whoever's casted as certain characters or who's just casted. Um, so it's kind of fun. The whole entire movie, I would have to say, look, it's a great, it was an amazing movie. Obviously, the music was fantastic. I mean, you have John Williams again. Come on. You pretty much have the same cast. Uh, Daisy Ridley, you have uh, a newcomer pretty much in, in uh, Daisy Ridley who plays Ray. Phenomenal. She was uh, beautiful. I can completely have a crush on her now um, if I didn't before. Uh, and then you have Finn who is... Who, was fan, who was fantastic just in his own right. Uh, I can see great things coming out of him. Uh, if you don't know who uh, his cat, who he is, he was actually in Attack of the Block. If you don't know what that movie is, I guarantee you you're going to love it if you love anything by the Cornetto Trilogy guys. Um, seriously, check it out. Edgar Wright, Nick Frost, Simon Pegg, like those guys, check out Attack on the Block. You're going to love it. It's It's phenomenal as, as well. Um, here's the thing about this one. Uh, there were no cockpit scenes. There was just flybys and stuff like that. No Senate scenes. I know. I was shocked, too. I'm very happy about that. Um, the thing is, it was a little fast-paced, and the dialogue could have been spaced out a little bit better. Um, there was a lot of action, which was good, but the thing is, like, again, it was, which made it, the a lot of action part made it very fast-paced for not, for me to actually take in on the awesomeness that is this new movie for a new generation um you, like i said you also had uh a, pretty much a, a setup cast you had uh john who plays finn you had ray uh, daisy ridley who plays ray and then you have adam driver who plays the new sith lord kylo ren who spoiler alert so turn off your computers now if you're right unless you already know kills han solo and is han solo's son boom mic drop you already know um Look, all of them were fantastic, and they're fairly new to the scene. Uh, except for Adam Driver's been in a few things. Um, he was in that uh, movie with Tina Fey about uh, their father dying. Uh, it was that was a fun movie. You should, I I believe that I have the review. If not, I will put the link in down below. Um, you should definitely check it out too. Um, look, a big thing for me and people of my age, people of even further than me or older than me. Um, the nostalgia quality was unbelievable in almost at every scene. I mean, I saw it with a couple friends of mine who literally jumped, cried, said, oh my God, at every turn. I mean, even I cried when I saw the Millennium Falcon and when she call and when they called it uh, a junker, I, I, I punched the seat because just wow. Um, the music, like I said, John Williams, uh, it's always has a, an eargasm, thanks, uh, see, everywhere, uh, you gotta give up for John Williams. Uh, it, it's kind of hard to do, trying to not give up without trying to say so much about this movie, but the thing is, I, it's, w the, it's one of those movies where the, where it's actually comforting to know that the, and comforting and that I could trust the director again, that keeps that actually says something and keeps his promises that it's going to be awesome than than you think and doesn't give anything too big too soon i will give it up for the trailers the mix the editing there they did release a few bits that aren't that shouldn't have been in there but like i said it's star wars you got to put all the good parts in otherwise you're pretty much screwed um obviously there's memes out there already i mean who kind of figured that by now the trader one obviously um there are there's so much more to come i just heard uh that jj abrams wants to do a gay character eventually i uh, i'm assuming either it's a new character or i'm hoping that's one of the new characters here uh in ray or finn we don't really know by that point uh but they the two of them tend to have a pretty big uh love interest in each other i mean it doesn't it's not Revenant, it's not relevant there, but it's it's pretty big there. Um, but so, look, just check it out. It's freaking Star Wars, man. You gotta go check it out. It's Star Wars. And, like I said, the nostalgia quality is really big here, so just make sure that doesn't put in your judgment. And don't put in your judgment that it's the same as the first, uh, in each of the French, in each of the uh, trilogies. Um, just keep that in mind. Seriously, go see it. 
check out our channel if she'd also do that. Um, our next adventure will be Concussion? Right. Our next, uh, we're going to go with Will Smith uh, in Concussion in the NFL scandal of, uh, well, concussions in the NFL. So stay tuned for that. Bye.